so it seems we have a few issues um, it's, uh, but 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 uh, those I will fix later because there are minor issues select this turn on proportional editing and push it out like this and also select maybe this here and there we have this I think I pushed it out too much so I will I'll fix that later turn on proportional editing pa turn on subsa for this and uh, we now have our bug we just need to add uh, this chain here this is how are we going to approach that let's first turn off this So for the chain, let's first add, let's add a curve, a basic curve. Go to the top, I will have it start around here. I need to scale this down a bit, this control point. these around so like these subdivide it maybe a few times push this around just to get some sort of organic shape here and make sure this is not intersecting in any way so subtract uh, add a subdivision there and to push this out and you can see if you look closely uh, this chain goes around as uh, some kind of rope there uh, so we can go to the curve settings let me make sure this is audio is working go to the curve settings and then turn on and a geometry we can give it a bevel a bevel oh that size maybe increase the resolution to two and uh, change the fill mode to full so these should uh, be connected inside there uh, so instead I'll just rotate them and connect them inside like so like so like so make sure there is no intersections intersecting so we need to reduce the size of this using alt s and then let's work on the chain I'm not sure how the chain looks but uh, let me try to create something here so if I do let's use a, a curve a curve give it a bevel for Let 
maybe reduce uh, that size a bit. And you can go to here, rotate this maybe 90 degrees and rotate this in the opposite direction 90 degrees. Hmm. Maybe delete these, select subdivide and separate these now to something like that. Just making something out of my head. I can't really see the, the shape clearly here, so. Let's see. Uh, let's try using the array modifier for this. Uh, what you can do is uh, Shift D, duplicate this, rotate it 90, uh, rotate this in the X direction 90 degrees. What am I doing? Rotate this in the X direction, rotate X 90 degrees to have something like this. Now let's see if this uses the curve modifier. Yeah, great. So we just need uh, to position this to the same positions. Selection to cursor like that. Now we can scale this down and uh, increase uh, the array count. Maybe come to this curve and uh, reduce its radius. Uh, the problem is, let's see. Maybe re just reduce uh, the bevel radius and then come to this one here and increase its bevel depth maybe we need to scale these the x direction and the increase the array count and we have our chain so now it's easy if you just if you want to just come in and edit the curve in any way you want and the chain would be updated so we can make it it's making make an, an interesting shape like that and uh, let's go to this turn on proportion turn on subdivision surface for everything go to shading mode and let's us uh, work out uh, the materials and see, so it already looks good here. We just need to bring back the reference image here. Let's begin with the chain. Give it uh, that gold color.
then this bag let's give that brown color or pinkish brown Turn on ambient occlusion, turn on screen space reflections. Um, the curve also can get that brown. Mm, that brown material, like that. I think the chain is bigger than this. So let's uh, increase it so we can scale this up. And I think we can come to the curve settings and increase, should we increase this? I think that's okay. And now we can reduce the array count to something like 30. Now this should also get the same material. If you want, you can add those textures, uh, but uh, just to keep this quite simple, a bit simple, we just going to use this looks like copper. I just want metal. I want gold, which is around there can add a plane and I can move this curve all these control points above that plane so that they are not intersecting I do have a leather texture. I have leather textures here, so let's try using those and see. Let me try this. Uh, because I'm not going to UV unwrap this right now, uh, let me just use object uh, coordinates. So and change this to box, connect this as the base color. Let's try that different one. Leather texture, we have this. Leather. This is the color. Okay, this looks even better. So, let me add roughness. Then the displacement. Make sure it's also connected to the same mapping. Mm, 
it's too much so let's reduce this even further to say 0 0.01 maybe 0 0.05 I think the roughness is too much so uh, the reflections are too sharp so let me add a car ramp here to control that So we have something like that. I think I can also add the ambient input as well. Add um, color mix RGB. Multiply. Bring in this color here. And uh, let's have it. Like that. Hmm. Oh, this should be in the color known the factor. Now, if you want more ambient occlusion, you just add a car ramp. And uh, you can do that. So we need to change this to box so that we remove the stretching that is here. If you're using object mapping, uh, you need to change uh, this how is it called the projection to Q to box instead of anything else I also need this for uh, for the displacement and we have our bug turn on scene lights yeah so I'll be breaking this down into different parts so that is easier so that because this is about two hours long I'll breaking it, I'll be breaking it down to 10 minute clips that I will upload uh, if you want to watch that in shorter clips so thank you